I'll explain what is what what is the meaning of uh, prakriti is ignorance. Ignorance of we will ask immediately. Prakriti means ignorance. Ignorance of what? You can't say ignorance of physics. Ignorance of you know history. Not in that sense. Now here, ignorance of Brahman. How we establish that? How do we say that it is, is Brahman's ignorance? Then the ignorance cannot stand without a Adhara. Knowledge or ignorance cannot exist independently. Isn't it? it needs some someone to hold it, no? Like dharma cannot exist without a dharmi. Isn't it? Same way, jnanam cannot exist without a jnani. Ajnanam cannot exist without an Ajnani. Okay. This is our understanding. So we say an Ajnani has Ajnanam. What Ajnanam he has? The Ajnanam of an Ajnani is what? Not knowing. Not having the knowledge of what is the real nature of that Ajnani himself, the self knowledge. From where he got, got that? Because of the presence of the original. Because it is there. If it is not there, Ajnanam cannot be there. So, Ajnanam cannot exist unless there is Jnanam. But Jnanam need not be dependent on Ajnanam for its existence. That is the difference. So, to an Ajnani, we say, the Ajnanam that you are carrying cannot be without a Without jnana. Right. The, the apprehension of rope is possible because of what? Because the rope was there. Imagine if there is no rope. Neither crack on the wall, nor snake, nor root of a tree, nothing is possible. None of this mis misunderstanding would have emerged. So we say that misunderstanding of snake came from where? Not understanding the rope. 
Then he asked the question, non-understanding of the rope came from where? Because the rope was there. Therefore, the rope says, ignorance of rope, not recognizing the rope as a rope, is mine. It's my glory. As long as the rope is there, there are two possibilities. If there is no rope, no possibilities. You can say there is only one possibility. No rope, no possibility. Rope, two possibilities. What are the two possibilities? You register the rope as rope or you do not register the rope as rope. Out of that non-registration of the rope as rope, whatever happens, let it happen. We don't care about that part. Right, that, that's not the purview now. See, the mis misunderstanding came from non-understanding rope as rope. From where you got that non-understanding, this is where people will immediately say, ah, non-understanding came because of that boy. See that? Because there is no light. No. That, that is wrong reading of the example. You are reading the example wrong. This is how arguments will come. Because if you, if you put it across to the other side, to the concept, in the rope example, there are already, how many are there? There are three fellows there already. Rope is there. Darkness there. Boy is there. Isn't it? In the case of world, creation itself came much later. Isn't it? We are talking about origin of creation, which means you are trying to understand pre-creation. This is where we are stretching our thinking. You, you stretch your intellect to visualize, understand. Pre-creation. Not just, you know, pre born matter. From where the world came, world came from Big Bang. There's a big ball. The question is from where the ball came. Right. You know, we are not asking the question of from where the earth came. That's a, that is a difference between how we study here and we, 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 we misunderstand the word world. We take world is equal to planet, earth. Then we can expect. Philosophy says, no, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking where this came. Because every time you are putting the cost behind, you are making it more and more complex. Because you can't verify. Nor can you this is this prove it. He cannot prove it. You cannot disprove it. Therefore, you see that? Brandon Russell gives a beautiful example to explain. Says, there is a cup and saucer revolving in the space exactly in the center point of Earth and Sun. There is a cup and saucer, he says. It's actually revolving. Now, what will you do? He can't prove, nor can you disprove. No, 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 it is not. How do you know it is not? I'm telling you, no. Now you say what? Give me a proof. What proof he will give? 
That's why we just cannot understand the logic of it. Which Ramdevda gives a fascinating example. Come with me. I will show you water oozing out of rock. Come with me. I'll carry you shoulder to shoulder. Come along. I'll show you. And we cannot understand. How can water come out of a rock? And you will immediately take a stone from the river or from your house. You will bend down, take one stone and show me, okay, where is water from this? But Ramjita says what? Come with me, I will take you to Ganga Gangotri. Come. Oh, the trail was superb. You see that. Unbelievable. Just, you can't, you know, but it's actually coming. And how much? It's just a very small one. You go there, you, you can jump, jump across. Keep playing, you know. You can keep jumping up and down. I say, see, I crossed. Bring that fellow near Calcutta or show. What you jumped in there, no, is this. Hey, na, better. You are blabbering. You are cheating. It's impossible for us to understand. And it's very easy for us to theorize, saying, there is someone standing above or behind that mountain, manufacturing water and sending it. That's the river. Another fellow. No, no, no. There is one giant fellow. He is perspiring. Like we all perspire, no? If you are standing in the sun. In Bangalore, we don't. That's why you need sauna. Yeah. It's a sauna in the house. Why? Not enough. Even if you stand, nothing happens. There it's not. It's so hot. You sweat. You giant. That sweat is the river. And it makes sense. It's possible, no? Another fellow says, there's a fellow standing there, he is spitting. You also do, no? So once a year, he'll spit. That is the river. Correct. Suddenly, Ramdevda comes and says, no, 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 it is coming from water. You know, from the water is coming from rock. No logic in your game. But he says, come with me. I will carry you shoulder to shoulder. What courage he must be having to say that. Come with me. I'll take you. That's exactly what Krishna is also telling Arjuna. Like all of us, Arjuna is not willing to travel with you. So you come here. I will not come. You come. Doesn't work that way. Ignorance of rope is there because of the existence of rope. The sheer existence of rope immediately creates a possibility of ignorance. Ignorance in the sense, non, non perception, non recognition. Another one is recognized. Recognizing rope as rope is called knowledge of rope. Non-recognition of rope as rope is ignorance of rope. Non-understanding of rope. And out of that non-understanding of rope comes the misunderstanding of snake. So therefore, what do you need to understand? Step one. Existence of rope. Then drop. Recognition, non recognition. Or put in between potential to recognize, potential to non recognize. 
comes. When that potential gets actualized, you have non-recognition. Out of that non-recognition becomes a potential for misunderstanding. So the non-understanding creates misunderstanding. These are the steps. Existence, potential, non-understanding, misunderstanding. Most of the time what we do is, we straight jump from existence of rope to not understanding rope and misunderstanding rope. We generally skip the second step or rather first step. That's what he is giving here. This is mine. How can that be yours? Does it mean it is inside you? He says, yes, it is in me only. The ignorance of rope is part of existence of rope. Because the rope is there, always there is a possibility. That's what he is giving here. Then this manifested world will go to unmanifestation. That misunderstanding will go back to non-understanding. That non-understanding will be will not automatically get back to understanding. That will not happen automatically. These two processes automatic. See, misunderstanding, non-understanding. Misunderstanding, non-understanding. Misunderstanding, non-understanding. So we are analyzing the whole thing post misunderstanding. Right? You are already seeing the world. So already snake has emerged. See, you are already scared of that snake. Now what to tell you? So Ram Tirtha says, come with me, let's go and investigate. Come along, let's go and see that. Your point is what? Oh, oh my God, I am so scared of that saying, I am not coming, I am not coming, I am not coming. We refuse to travel along with the masters. He said, come man, I will carry you, come on. There is nothing to it. Why? You have already seen the snake. For you, it's a snake. You say, you go, catch that snake, kill it, and then I'll come. You know, who will go around? Then I'll find somebody else to catch the snake. I say, there is no snake, man. He says, nothing to it. You are not making sense. They're not making any sense. That's what he's giving here as my prakriti. Repeat it. At least temporarily. All the answers will be temporary appeasement only. Permanent clarity will never get. If you get permanent clarity, you will not be here. But that doesn't mean those who are not here are all having permanent clarity. <laughs> Other people will say, correct sir, that's why I didn't did come for the class. This 10 verses, rather I would say from 4th verse specific, to 10, 4 to 10, he is taking the subject to Upanishad level. Suddenly he goes up. You know, just testing Arjuna. Little heavy dose he gives and checks whether Arjuna is able to take it. 
and then increase the dose, and then increase the dose, then increase the dose. The peak he goes is the 15 chapter. 15 chapter is the peak of philosophical dose. He's explaining the nature of Brahman. What is is Brahman? What is God? A layman asks, Who is God? Is there God? Yes, first thing he said is, he is not available or it is not available, she is not available, all three genders were. He, she, it. Not available for sensory perception. First thing he explained. Then he said, look here, since you are not able to perceive me, don't take it to be non-existent. Because for us, the problem is we think the consciousness is a byproduct of matter. Isn't it? Consciousness, we for, our, for all purpose, what we understand is, it's to do with the chemicals in the brain. He says, no, consciousness is independent of matter. But consciousness is not available for perception. You can't see him, you can't taste him, you can't touch him, you can't smell him, you can't hear him. Not possible. Can you feel him? Can you think? That is also not possible. But he is not dependent. In fact, matter is dependent on the consciousness for its existence. That matter is what he is calling as lower, apara prakriti. That apara prakriti is what is the cause of the world. How that apara prakriti creates the world is what he is explaining. This is pure Upanishadic ideas. Just you have to keep contemplating on that. His verses are meant for more of a contemplation. The seven verses. Meant for contemplation. Then he goes to explain microcosm and macrocosm. What, what happens at the macrocosmic level is at the microcosmic level. So don't think that I am not available. I am not dependent on the world. In fact, world is dependent on me. And how the world became dependent on me is because I am the origin. I am the sustainer. But when the world dissolves, it doesn't dissolve into me. It dissolves into my lower nature. It will not come to realization. I don't think that, you know, at the end of Kalpa, all of us will get realization. No. At the end of Kalpa, you don't get realization. Where you will go to? You will get back to this and manifest. You will go back to ignorance of hope. That's it. And then out of that, again, it will come. So, therefore, creation here is what? Puna, puna. Again, again. In Sanskrit, when they say again and again, means again, 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 you have to keep on saying it. Because it's, it's like keeping two mirrors. Infinitely it will go. 
to the, the reflection. Like that this is. Again and again and again and again and again and again and again. That's what Shankara says in Bajavu in the class. Punarabhi Jananam, Punarabhi Maranam. Again birth, again death. Again birth, again death. Again birth, again death. Again and again and again and again. And again. The whole thing keeps happening. This is going on. But don't think that I am creating. Because the moment you, if you say, I am the creator, problem is what? You will be putting a intention. So that is also not there. The other central ideas is giving in this, these verses. Verse 9, no? Vacha maam tani karmani Vibhantanti dhananjaya Uda sina vada sina Asattam tejo karmasu Vacha maam tani karmani Vibhantanti dhananjaya nor do these acts, O Dhananjaya, find me. Remaining like one unconcerned and unattached to those acts. These acts, Ani Karman, these acts, these acts means the act of creation, sustenance, and dissolution. All these things doesn't touch me, he says. So I don't do any one of those things. I have nothing to do with it. I give the Two qualifications for that is Udasi Navat and Asakta. Udasi na unconcerned. Udasi Navat like unconcerned. Then there's the sense indifferent. That indifferent attitude is what is referred as, not tamas, don't take it as indifference in tamasic sense, please. Right? It is, don't, don't get affected. You are not worried. You, 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 not like that. Unconcerned. And asaktam. Unattached. These two things he says. Now you can give on, keep on giving examples. That's not a problem. You can build your own examples. Like, you know, you say, uh, the screen in the cinema theater is unconcerned, unaffected. It doesn't bother. Oh, you, this movie you have removed. Oh my God. Hey, you doing writing that movie and putting this movie. Oh, boring. Good, put some good movies, no, it will not bother about all that. Nor is it going to be affected by whatever is happening on the screen. There is a, a huge, you know, forest fire. Nothing happens to the screen. There is a flood. Nothing happens to the screen. There is tremendous celebration. Nothing happens to the screen. There is a mourning. Nothing happens to the screen. The screen is is not affected by the affairs, whatever is happening. At the same time, is it worried about it? No. There are two problems. Why he is giving these two problems? This is because we face two problems in life. We have two issues in our life. What are the two, two issues we have? We have the problem of we get affected in two ways. 
one way of affectation is doership another way of affectation is enjoyer kartrutva buddhi and bhogtrutva i am the doer that karta right same way i am the one who is enjoying enjoy is in the sense experience remember enjoy in the sense you know it is good and bad now we think enjoy means only good not bad no anything that you have to go through as an experience all experiences so of the enjoyer is a product of doer remember you take two positions in one aspect you are contributing to the company right whole month end of the month you are the receiver of the benefit take his salary no salary you get end of the month or the beginning of the month beginning of the month for the work that you did for the last month or the work that you are going to do going to do last oh last month correct no yes ah adha do or enjoy suddenly i got a doubt suppose you know sir market we don't function like that you say for the work for the work that you have done in august you get a salary in september so in august who are you contributor in september consume isn't it you are taking from the company so first you are giving to the company and then you are taking from the company that's all you are doing that's all life is in life also what you do to take a position of a doer this is where confusion comes to all of us the problem is in your office it's so clear what august i work september i get paid okay here the problem is which august i give the you know neighbor state they you know the election manifesto those fellow said you know if we get elected we will do this we will do that we will do this we will do this no huge mistake and after 100 days you know they didn't do anything so in the media conference or what we meeting on media fellow asked sir you you promised that you will do it the minister gave a reply did you read the manifesto properly yes, sir Have you given any date? I'm not joking. I'm seriously listening. Have you given any date? No, no. Till two. When? Now election? No. Next election is when? Six months before election, we will do it. Reduce the price and you know thing around it. And he is representing life. The minister understood. like what uh, there is no date here that is why all of us when we are experiencing you are taking a position of what now who are you now you are a bhokta enjoyer okay has the bhokta done anything can a bhokta do something because if bhokta were to do something he is no longer a bhokta he becomes a karta okay so when you are when you are performing action you are a karta when you are experiencing the consequence bhokta right 
So most of the time in life, when, when we go through something, all of us ask one question. What is it? What did I do? And your reasoning, you will never be able to find what have you done. Why? Who is making that inquiry? Bogda. If Bogda were to investigate, when Bogda was a karta, can a Bogda be karta? Bogda can never be karta. Karta is totally different. The moment you work, you are a karta, doer. The doer in you will go on doing because the doer in you is never going to receive the consequence. Okay. And the bhokta in you, the consequence receiver will go on receiving the consequences. Read the benefits. Read the consequences without understanding, without knowing why I am getting it, what I am doing. There is no way that you can try. Because they are totally two different domains. That's why the first thing we teach in Vedanta, first class, any Vedanta class you go, first thing we teach. Every human is made up of spirit, matter. Spirit is the self in you, consciousness, Atman, Brahman, etc. Matter is made up of three equipments, body, mind, intellect. Body is just a vehicle through which you perform two things, actions and it houses organs of perception and organs of action. When you are using organs of perception, you are called perceiver. When you are performing actions using the organs of action, you are called actor. Actor is different. Perceiver is different. They are not the same. But the tragedy is what? This Viveka, if you have enough, you will never have a problem in life. Because as the doer goes on doing irresponsibly things. Why? Because he is never going to receive the consequence. And the bhokta in you, the enjoy in you goes on cursing. Why this is happening? Why that is happening? Why this is happening? Why? Now, why, why, why when you ask, you can never find a link between Bhokta and Karta. It's all our life. You understand this problem, Doctor. You become responsible when you are performing action as Karta and when you are receiving the consequences, you understand that as what? I have no choice because Bhokta has no choice but to experience. Karta alone has a choice. All of us want in life what? Then give me a choice as Bhokta. I don't want choice as Karta. I want choice in just Bhokta choice to that. Unfortunately, life says what? Sorry, boss. You will never get. Therefore, what we have to do? Says, what he is saying here is that consciousness has got nothing to do with both. I am neither karta nor bhokta. That's what he means by unconcerned 
and unattached. I am not concerned, I am not attached. I am not concerned with what is the consequences, I am not attached to doership also. Aham karta, there is no thought. I am the doer. That's what I mean. Aham karta means I am the doer. The doer enjoy, you know, doesn't give that uh, much. That's why I keep using that word, karta bhokta. That word gives a better uh, grip on this idea. Or bhokta will go on enjoying only, mean experience. He cannot choose. He can't say, I am not going to experience it. It's impossible. You can't escape from experience. And karta will never understand. It's like you do the work, I, I, I take salary. Right? If, if the office terminates you, I will never know. I will say, get out. They say, I will never know. Suppose if the office has given you promotion, this, and in your life you will never get access to the salary. And I will never get access to for my job, I can do only what? Whatever is there in the back account, take it. If there is no money in the bank, what to do? Why salary didn't come? Why this money didn't come? No, it didn't come, that's all. Nothing can be done. Now I can't say, okay, I will go and work and, and do. No. I am a bhokta. Or a karta. Karta will go on doing. That is why when you are performing action, you never understand what this action is going to result in. Because here you say what? Now, anyway, Karta is not going to go through that. No. So therefore, Karta will be how? He will be indifferent. That is why he is using the word Udasina. And then he puts that what suffixes with that but like. Like unconcerned. Don't say he is unconcerned. If he is unconcerned, then what is he? Indifferent. Tamasar. Like you are. You are in the sense the doer I am saying. Because the doer will never register the consequence. Because doer is never going to experience the consequence. The moment he comes to the consequences there, what is it? Bhokta. Now you connect it to you have right only in action, not in the fruit. Why he says that? Because Krishna is speaking to whom? Krishna is speaking to Karta. You, you have only right with action, Arjuna. You have no right over fruits. He says, correct. He is simply making a normal statement. You are a Karta now. And Karta can do only what? Action. Now, as Karta, he wants to think about Bhokta. Not possible. You, you go there, instantly you change. It's a fascinating idea. If you, if you cherish it, you know, in life you have to see it. When you, when you see that, you understand, that will give a tremendous uh, strength. Simple understanding, this is. 70% uh, of stress will go. Rest of 30 percent, you can't do anything. You have to. Do. Why? Why? Because you are a consequence receiver also. No? The past you have done something, right? That's the only problem. In our life, it's very easy for us to make a connection. What? August 4th, September salary. Here the problem is September salary will be given based on not last month. All the, right? how that calculation happens, how that thing works, no clue you have. Therefore, we say what? 
simply this is equal to. Right? That's what he is giving here. The problem that we encounter is these two. Therefore, Krishna uses these two things to say, I am neither Karta nor Bhokta. I am not the creator of the world. I do nothing. First he said, I create. And then he says, full responsibility. Whole thing is only because of me. Then, in the, you know, previous one he said, see, creation, maintenance, mine. But resolution is not mine. Okay. Last. Now, nine he says, I have nothing to do with all three. Look at the way he builds the idea. See, total responsibility. Next one is saving responsibility, partial. Yeah. Uh, Two third. Now he says, nothing. I have nothing to do with it. It's totally washes his hands off. Okay. You guys do whatever you want. I have nothing to do with it. Beautiful build up of ideas. That's why it's like condition. Yes. No, it's that individual who is engaging that equipment. Through the equipment, only you can perform action also, not just mind and intellect, body also. This body also is used by the individual, isn't it? That ego. Is there not the jiva or the ego here? We can take it as the ego who claims that I am. So once you totally identify yourself with that particular role that you play in life, you play two roles: karta, bhokta. Bhokta has a particular positioning. Karta has a particular positioning. So when you go there. You have to function according to that positioning only. And then you have to switch the role. The problem for most of us is we identify ourselves more with reference to Bhokta. Very rare we find people who identify with Karta. You see, that's why first thing we tell people is to practice Karma Yoga. Right. And if you are, that's the preliminary discipline. Below that, who is he? Bogi only. Isn't it? We have seen that no, earlier. Yogi, Sanyasi, Jnani. So, the one who is starting the spiritual journey, we call him as Yogi. Okay. The one who has not started the spiritual journey, what is he called as? Bogi. What is Bogi doing? Enjoy. He is a Mokta only. He is not moving himself from the position of a Mokta. He is still thinking himself to be that. Still thinking to be himself. No, you are not. See, when I see you, I have to take a position of a teacher. Right? The moment I see my guru, I sometimes back, you know, a fellow asks me, in the difference of, of the, uh, the academy, he asked, who is the Ishwara? Okay. That's the time, you know, I just got married and, you know, just, you know, had a child also. Then he asked me, he said, imagine, one of the students from the class asks me, same question. You have a child? How are you dealing with your family and all that? How is it? I said, I am objective. Whatever happens, I will not. Now, if you ask me, what I will say? Getting into this family and all those things to practice objectivity. If Swamiji asks, what I will say? Objective. Huh? Yes, yeah, not huh? objective. Huh? Yes, yeah, what I will say? 
promising. If the objective be, I get to start with O. We just put a, we were starting. I put a dot there. I've taken a pen and put a dot, Swamiji. I don't know what I'm going to write actually. Obsessed also can come, no? Isn't it? Instead of objectivity, but first letter is O only, no? I put a O. You think it is objectivity? It's the same question. When you are asking, my answer will be what? What do you think of me? If you want to find one fellow objective, that's me. There's none other objective. So what I have to answer? Why? Not because that's the truth. If, if you ask in the academy, if you guys were to ask me, what is the answer I'll give? These are all things that I had to, things that we do for learning objectivity. This is the starting point. If you have not started, where are you? You live as a bhokta. The human personality, we have no perceiver, actor, feeler, thinker, contemplator. Remember that? When you are engaging your organs of perception, you are a perceiver. When you are engaging your organs of action, you are an actor. When you are engaging your mind, you are a feeler. When you are engaging your gross intellect, you are a thinker. When you are engaging your subtle intellect, you are a contemplator. So, a human being is equal to perceiver plus actor plus feeler plus thinker plus contemplator. Now, I play all these roles. Suppose if I identify myself totally as one, forgetting all other aspects, which one we identify most in that? Huh? Perceiver. Enjoy. Wherever we enjoy, you live as enjoy. Because the, our life mission itself is what? Enjoy or no? How many of us have a life vision that I will work? Like he says, you should die with boots on. You should die with your boots on. You should die like Abdul Kalam. Oh, what a death. As he is doing his job, collapses. That's the life, life says. Die with the boots on. That's why constantly I also have the house also they have, you know, chapel, shoes on. Means work, man. Boots on means you should work. You know, now the fellow is taking a job, first job, is thinking, is asking me, you know, uh, retirement, what I should do. Hey, so I get to start working actually. This is for retirement plan. No retirement. Starting point of karma yoga is that where you identify yourself as karta. You recognize that you also play the role of karta and then be objective about it. Right. For which you should recognize that you play those two roles, those two roles are two different things. That's it. Everywhere we go, we always ask only this question. Nobody asks, you know, what should I do? So why this is, why this is, why this? Why this is means what? That why we always ask as who? That why question is asked by whom? Bhokta. 
Karta will never ask the question why. He will ask the question what and how. What should be done, how that has to be done. Remember that. As Karta, always you should know how to position yourself in life. In different scenarios, you have to position differently. Beyond that is the position of the self, where you say, I am not the doer. If I am not the doer, I am not the enjoyer also. So long as you believe yourself to be, I am the doer, you have no choice but to take the position of Bhokta and go through it. So when you are going through Bhokta, then go through because Bhokta by definition has no choice. As Karta you have a choice. Therefore choose wisely. But in Karta Akut what we do? Choicelessly we function. Habitually we function. So nothing happens. That all karma works. Now he is not talking that. He is speaking one step to an above. He says, I have nothing to do with it. Look at the build-up of this. First he said, because of me only the whole thing is. Then he said, I am responsible only for two. Resolution is because of of that. So, all that is happening, these two things, I do only sustenance job for all purposes. Even though he is not directly saying that, we can infer from this. What is it? Creation, dissolution, time, what is happening? All this is getting back to Prakriti. And next to Kalpa, what will happen? From Prakriti, it will come out again by Kavashaha, helplessly. Automatically, it will come out. So, I am not responsible for creation, dissolution. Then what I am responsible for, sir? Only sustenance. We carefully followed the class. First I said, total responsibility. Then I said, two-third. Now I am saying it's only one-third responsibility. Last. In this verse, that also is removing. Whatever is going on also, I have nothing to do with it. What is sustenance means what only two things are happening. What is it? Doing, enjoying. Cause, effect. Cause, effect. I have nothing to do with the cause and effect. Fascinating idea. <laughs> Chor this for us. There is a bada chitta chor. Bada chitta chor. It simply steals your uh, intelligence. Can't manage. Oh, from. And then the examples are not a problem. You can go on adding examples. Yes. That consciousness is just a sakshi. Just a witness here. I am not concerned about what is done and what is the consequence of done. I am not attached to this. I am unaffected by action. I am unaffected by the consequences of the action. Now you can use both words. You, know, you can interchange also. Uda Sinavat is for this, sir. It doesn't make any difference. I say I don't care. Uh, people fight for that also. No, no, that's enough. It should be for uh, uh, no. enjoy. No, okay, change it. So, what all that you need to understand is two things in sustenance, only two things happen. So, first, he said, I am totally responsible. Then, explicitly, he said, I am responsible only for two, not for the third. 
implicitly he said i am responsible only for one not two semi responsibility nine he says totally is not my responsibility irresponsible <laughs> Dasi, Adkar sir, no, I don't care. Then, Maya Dakshina Pratuti Suryate Sacha Rajanam Netunamina Kaunteya Chakadhavi Parivartate Maya Dakshina Pratuti Suryate Sacha Rajanam Netunamena Kaunteya by me presiding, Prakriti, nature, produces the moving and the unmoving. Because of this, O Kauteya, the world revolves. whole world is functioning. Evolving means it's existing. Because of this. And what I am, I am just a Sakshi. A witness. By me presiding. But remember, he is not a Sakshi in the sense that he has no role. Remember. He is a Sakshi not like what we understand as Sakshi in the court. Witness. Because we think witness has nothing to do with the instance, the event. Here it is not that. The whole event got into the possibility because of his presence. But he is not involved in any, any of those things. And they give the example of sun. In Panchadashi, he gives this beautiful example. It's not a deep of prakarana. A fascinating portion in Panchadashi. He says, not a deep of prakarana. It's like, not a is a stage, the drama. Deeper is the lamp, the light. It's like that light on the stage. All that events that's happening on the stage is because of the light. But the light here is not deciding what drama. And the whole drama is enacted, that entire the dance performance and all that is happening there on stage according to the tunes played by the musician. Whatever they sing, they dance. If they sing wrong, what happens? They still laugh. they make a mistake out. I don't know what to do now. And the dancer is who? So there is a dancer. There is a accompanist. Audience. Like this is what Vidyaranya gives. Remember that. Lamp. And then there is a dancer. Accompanists are there for the dancer. And then all this is happening for who? Because audience know. Imagine none of you are here. I am speaking. I have at least I have to assume somebody is there. Isn't it? Otherwise, you cannot talk. You know that, no? You are a mad person. They assume there is one more person and then they talk. Have you seen? Atanjali. You have never seen, isn't it? They keep talking. 
you say, you know, they'll be talking. And actually, even that person has to imagine there is another person. Only then, but otherwise it's not possible. If you can't, you know, either it has to be there or you have to imagine the audience. The corona time, you know, all these musicians, these people are all there dancing, no? Front of camera. They put these, you know, these people came okay, for this one, so we are you know, shooting there. And those kids couldn't perform. I said, you people dance so well, what happened? I said, Uncle, you don't know what happened. And he said, Uncle, I think because of you. I said, okay, I will go into the room. No, you people do. I said, no, it's not coming. Why? The joke is because of the audience. If the audience are not, they cannot. No. If the audience are not re reacting to the speaker. The speaker cannot give anything. Nothing will come out. They have to respond. Some response, good or bad. Something should be there. Imagine everybody sitting like Buddha. Like, why well, everybody close their eyes you know, sitting? Now, what can you do? The speaker cannot speak. You know, I remember one man, you know, this uh, Kiva Jag 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 Jagannath, this was brilliant uh, literature fellow. He has been invited to this, you know, eleventh uh, day, you know, that uh, child take birth. Eleventh day, they naming somebody. They have. So they invited him, and this man went and he saw that baby, and he blessed that child and all that, and he said, he "Come as a, will be a fantastic teacher." And he went away. So happened, the boy became professor in college. He grew up, he took a professor, became a professor. And after some time, you know, Jagannathan met the family, and that boy asked him, he said, How do you know that you know, you know, a teacher, when you're a child, baby? Yeah, yeah I know that. Why? When I came for the ceremony, I saw he started crying. 45 minutes you cried. Exactly, you stopped. Right? You didn't care. You see, I decided only teachers can do that. No. Right. Only college professor can do that. They have that art. Even if nobody is listening to that, they can talk. Or the radio jockeys. I don't know how they talk here so in the room. Nobody is there in front of them, but they go on talking. Even that person also has to do what? Visualize. They had to visualize and speak, otherwise, it's not possible. So, the dance performer performs the whole thing to entertain who? The audience. And Vijay had used that example beautifully. He says, the lamb is the pure consciousness. The self in you is a lamb. The dancer who is performing the dance is the ego, the jiva, the individual. You is dancing according to the autonomous. What the autonomous senses? The senses define the tunes. Look here, uh, eyes will go automatic. You get a smell, nose will go rain, go automatic there. So you do, you live your life based on what? On the tunes, on the demands, on as per the demands of the senses to live your life. So the ego is living its life according to the demands of the senses. All this is for whom? This is the best part. Who's the audience? 
the sense objects. The sense objects were looking at us and entertaining themselves. The tree will be looking at you. <laughs> Look at this fellow. <laughs> the two trees will be talking. You see these guys? You see that house? What happened? And we think what? We are, no, you are not. They are enjoying you. You are not the enjoyer. They are the real enjoyers. They are. But all this is happening because of what? Because of the lamp. If the lamp goes off, for lamp, everything will stop. But is the lamp responsible for any one of this? <coughs> That's what he says. By me presiding means by my presence only all this is happening, but I have nothing to do with it. What are the things happening? The whole creation is happening. That moving and unmoving, both. Rajara, yes. The moving and the unmoving. All this is created, produced because of this. The world is function. He says, I am this. That's how they think. Beautiful build up of ideas. Carefully constructed. Is this not of a deeper prakara? It's like that lamp. Natural days, we give the example of sun. A modern example is petrol in the car. Don't bother. Petrol in the car. I'm just referring it. I'm not explaining it. History. By me presiding. So first, total responsibility, then semi-responsibility, then no responsibility. That doesn't mean you can tick me off. Oh. Anyway, he's not doing anything. No, then take him out of the equation. No. He says, you take me out of the equation, what will happen? Old drama will stop. You can't. So, you can't do away with him, but you cannot make him responsible for any of these things. So, what is he? That's why we say one word, Sakshi. But Sakshi is also not a total one, remember. It's only a partial. Sakshi is not a complete one. That the, the, the definitions are various ways of explaining it. This is not. So don't make me responsible. I'll just give an example. You 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 just think about it. Okay. If you remember, we started the whole thing with the pot, clay pot example. Okay. The clay pot example, the clay is needed, the pot maker is needed, then the pot maker should have the knowledge of pot making compulsory. Then there has to be an instrument, no, the wheel is needed. So the potter, the wheel and clay needed. But the bullock cart which brought the clay, what about that? Bullock cart, they bring the clay you know, from, from the riverside. They take it out and put inside and carry the whole thing. It was carried and brought to the village, to the potter's house. But for that pull, but for that car, 
none of this could have happened. Is it? So therefore, what will you say about that? No way we will include in the process of pot making, we will never include bull. Isn't it? Cart. All that we will not include. We will include only what? Clay, beef, potter. Isn't it? Pot maker. Understood this pot maker has the knowledge of pot making. Because pot making knowledge cannot exist independent of the pot maker. So when we say the pot maker, understood. The pot maker uh, has a knowledge of pot making. The pot maker understood is he has both hands. Imagine pot maker is there, he has tremendous knowledge in his kaina katait. What can you do? You can't do. See, like is that uh, Goraka, no? Goraka. That's the law. He chopped his hands off. Yes, fascinating story. I'll restore the line and give next. Okay, I missed the point. I'll forget otherwise. Right. Now, when he says, I am not, you can't say God is like the cart, the bulla cart. No. Now, God is where you are going to put God. God is including what? Clay. God, deep, God, pot maker. Three in one. At the same time, he is like the bulla cart. You'll never understand that. That's why they gave these examples. That's why this uh, comparison, Upama alone will help you. This, very difficult to get this knowledge. And that's why he goes through in a very, very systematic manner. Mathematically, he goes. He says total, then he says semi, then he says nothing. That doesn't mean you can tick me off like a bullock cart also. So you can't do like that also. But nor can you say, I am like this also. Then where to place Praise God. It's all this, but nothing. That's why they gave the standard example of the sun. See, because of the sun, all this is happening. At the same time, you cannot hold sun responsible for any of the things that is happening. Vidyaranya gives the example here. But of course, Vidyaranya is is giving that example for more understanding in terms of this, but particular one if you wanted to take only the sun example we take. Yeah, we say sun is the one who lends that power to do all this, but sun is not responsible for anything. So sun is a sakshi also, he is the one who is lending power for everything to happen. Upanishad example. Right. Modern Upanishad example is petroleum. Yeah, sun Allah, if we speak today, he will say, nah, sun, boring. The petroleum car. Now we have to change the word also. Now you can't use petrol also. So when you say petrol, all this, you know, environment list will start. Because of you only petrol. Just example we gave that. How dare you? You repeat the same thing to her also. Say, how dare you? Then you should not eat anything. Because you are throwing carbon dioxide, no? How dare you give by carbon dioxide? Therefore, what you should do? Hold your breath. He is the one who is. Uh, now we have to say gas. That also not possible. Then we have to say battery. God is like 
battery in the car. It's replaceable sat home. It has to be recharged once in a while. Don't stretch examples. Okay. The specific point. So the standard example we have is the sun. So total responsibility, semi, no responsibility, but you can't take off. Therefore, what is Sakshi? So why we say God is a witness? Sakshi is this is the way we derive it. It's not just a arbitration. It's a derivation. Right. See in the next class. So there's a question there, sir. Is he or the consciousness seated in the Maya as a witness or a natural neutral person? Is the consciousness seated in the Maya? No. You are putting the cart before the horse. Maya is seated in consciousness. Consciousness is not sitting inside Maya. Right. Now we are taking exactly the stand as now we understand consciousness to be the byproduct of matter. He said, No, this is what it is. He just used a different word. That's about it. No. Maya is in me, he said. I was changing the whole thing. Maya is in me. So I am bigger than Maya. See, potential for non recognition of rope is in rope, or rope is in the potential of non recognition. Oh, it is, that's a confusion. As a witness or a neutral person. A witness and a neutral person is a legal terminology. These are not really legal terms. Now you understand all these words in the worldly transactions because here we say witness is different, neutral person is different. Now what do you mean by neutral person? Who is a, who is a neutral one? Who doesn't take yes, yes. either side? He is a, he's a neutral person, we think. Can you realistically bring anyone in life neutral? Paper, you can write neutral. Is it ever possible for anyone to be neutral? Please remember, it is just a Fictitious idea, not a realistic idea. You will take sides. Only thing is what? When you are taking a side, you should know you have taken a side. Like you had the choice to make take one side, other person also has a choice to take a side. I'm not going to take any side. I'm going to give a neutral report. There is no such thing called a neutral reporting. There is no such thing. Because it's, when it comes to this Brahman and world, neutrality means what? Between two. There's no two we are saying. Neutral means what? It gives a supposition of Two opposites. He says there are no two things, man. All that you are seeing is Vaha inside me. Therefore, it is neither a witness in the sense like we understand witness, nor in the sense we understand as neutral. The question itself is. Is a faulty question, wrong question. 
because the facts are wrong. Base itself is wrong. Because consciousness is not sitting inside Maya. Maya is inside consciousness. See the next one.